Hey everybody and welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a selection menu with a carousel like structure like this. Now this is a really cool menu, however it is pretty advanced. I was suggested to do this tutorial by a couple of YouTubers, not YouTubers, sorry, a couple of people who watch my videos um, in my previous videos. And by the way, I have seen all your suggestions and I am looking forward to actually using them. So, Anyways, this is a little advanced tutorial. Now, if you're new to Game Maker or just started, you can go to my other videos, which is my Game Maker Basics tutorial or my Space Shooter tutorial. Those are a little bit more suited to your level. Level, and however, if you want to just put this in your game, then this is the tutorial for you. So, let's get started. So you can see here, I've got different sprites that depend on my different menus. Now, of course, maybe these shapes can be instead like um, text. So instead of this black, it'll say play in the middle of it. And yeah. So if I click space on this, no, if I click space on here, it'll say noise. Click space here, it'll just delete. So it has its specific um, calls for that. Alright, so before, without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. So let's delete the menu object. And I actually code it from scratch. So I have a sprite already called S menu with a width of 51 and a height of 51. And it has 10 sub-images. So just looking from this, it's a really efficient system as like it doesn't need 300 sprites to function just one sprite with multiple sub-images. It has a script called angle difference, which is a script provided by GML scripts. If you cut your stuff to go to the website and download it, I'll leave a link in the description. Here's the line of code. It's really simple. Okay, now let's create an object called our menu. Let's get started with the actual coding. So let's in the create event. Be sure to assign that sprite. Okay, in the create event, we're gonna say set vars. That's the first thing we want to do. You, you, we want to initialize three variables called selected, rotation, and item. Now, before I continue, if you haven't seen my game Parallax, which is another game I created quite a while back, this was the same system I used, and I've been getting a lot of requests since then. So the next one we're going to be looking at is set the position of the menu. Oops. Position of the menu. So menu X and menu Y. Menu Y. So menu oops. Menu X is gonna be room width divided by two, which is right in the middle of the room. And the same thing for menu Y. Room height divided by two. And then we're gonna say set the size of the menu. So once again, we're going to use the menu width, which I'm going to say 500, and the menu height, which I'm going to make it 50, okay? Now in the step event, we're going to get into the real coding. So we're going to say change the selection based on the left and right arrow keys. So if keyboard, check, pressed, vk right, then selected, plus equals one, else if keyboard check, pressed, vk left, then we're going to minus it instead. So this will assist us in Choosing which is the selected item. Now the next one is going to be rotate towards the selection. Okay, so depending on what item you've been selected, this the following code will rotate to it automatically. And in here we're going to say um, rot or rotation minus equals angle difference. We're going to use that sprite now. And in here we're going to say Rot selected times 
360 divided by image number. Now, image number is the amount of sub images we have in our sprite, in this case, 10. Um, two brackets there, divided by 0 0.2 times room speed. And that should work here. Cool. So let's just look at that again. And the next line of code is basically setting the item variable to image in index. Image index is the current sprite, current sub image in our, in, our, in our sprite. So item is a variable that we created before. So we say item equals minus selected mod image number. Image underscore number. So, and we're going to say here if image, sorry, if item, okay, is smaller than zero. Oh, uh, yeah. Item is smaller than zero, just in case. Then item plus equals image number. Cool. So that's it for the step event, and now let's go into the draw event. So in here, we're gonna make this smaller. Hold on a sec. Okay. Let's make it a little bigger as well, because this is gonna be some long code. Alright. So the first thing we're gonna do is set some variables. So var PR and I. Now PR is gonna be the priority queue that we'll be creating. So PR equals pri DS, pr oops, DS priority Q, priority Q, oh, it's priority create. So priority Q is basically a data structure, and it's basically like a DS Q, I think. Yeah, DS Q, all this. Yeah, DS Q, but it has priority, so it has different levels of importance. In this case, it's really useful for us because. If it's at the front, it's important, it's bigger. If it's at the back, it's smaller. So we're going to say create and then add menu items to the priority queue. So repeat image number. So we're going to do this following code for however many items there are, in this case 10. So DS priority add. First parameter is which pri which priority queue do you want to add to? In this case we want to say PR. The next one is the value. We're going to say I. And then the final one is priority. So this is depending on the position of the carousel. So length third or Y? 1. Okay. Rot minus 90 plus I times 360 divided by image number, just like before. Okay. And that's that. So it's a little advanced, just have a good look at that. And it might be a little hard to understand, but the outcome is really good, so don't worry about that. Cool. Now we want to say i plus equals 1. Okay. Now we're going to say draw the menu. Now this is going to be a big line of code, alright, so be prepared. So you want to say repeat image number. So once again, this is going to happen image number, so this is going to happen for however many items there are. So you want to say i equals ds priority priority delete min for PR. Cool, so now we've got that piece of code in, that should be the crux of our menu. And then, now, I guess that's the hard part done. And then we're going to say DS, oops, remove DS priority. So, DS priority, re destroy, and we're going to destroy that DS, list, uh, pri DS priority key. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is say draw draw text based on what item 
you have selected. So make a very uh, local variable with text and say switch item. So if the item is zero, then text equals play. Play. Break. Um, case one. And just keep on doing this for every case. Help. And I'm just gonna copy this line of code and just put that in here and here and here. We have to put a couple of these, quite a lot actually. Four, five, six, seven. Copy all this. Eight, nine. I think yeah, that's nine. Nine's done. And then we at the end we want to say default equals just normal uh, break sorry default text okay cool it's gonna be quick so that's it for the uh, draw event no no it's not it final thing we have to do is draw set hline my spelling is really off today on my typing and say fa center and then draw text and depending on your room, I'm just going to say 320 by 320, and then text. Sick. Now the final thing we have to do is create a keyboard pressed event with space. Now this is the interaction depending depending on each item. So here it's going to say switch item once again. You want to say case one, share message. Uh, played. So the first one is the, yeah. The second one, sorry, is it zero? My, my bad. Second one is the help. So I'm going to say, um, help is not available. Of a level. Okay. And case two, which is quit, game end. Right. I think that's it for our menu, that's it. So that was quite a lot of hard work, however, hopefully uh, it has paid off. And if we run the game now, oops, variable get i. Now if we go to our step event, sorry, I draw event actually, pri, yeah, we did define that, that's weird. Hmm, let me see why. Oh, my bad. I equals zero. We didn't define, we didn't set a value to I. That's why it gave us that error. Hopefully it works now. All right, there we go. So we've got our carousel. If we click left. Oh, that's weird. Okay, right now it's reversing the order. Um, if we go to menu in our step event, make this minus. And make this plus. My bad. Uh, but, but for the most part, it works really nice. You can see if I click left, it'll go to the left. If I, go, if I click right, it'll go to the right. So if I click zero, if I click space. Yep. Oops. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. So if I click space and the play, play, okay. Help is not available. Oh, my bad. Another problem here. In the press space, I forgot to break every time. I'm so sorry about this, guys. And break here as well. Okay, this is because we want to separate them from each other. So if I click play, play, okay. If I click help, help is not available. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this really bad tutorial. Hopefully, sorry about that. But hopefully, you learned something. And and if you want to use this, um, feel free to give me credit. You don't have to, actually. You don't. <laughs> okay, thanks for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.